Welcome to Physics Everywhere. We're going to take a look at the 2008 movie Hancock, an epic movie fail with a conservation of momentum. Okay, we've got our protagonist obviously having a bit of a bad day, stuck on the train tracks. Can't get out. Car is falling apart. We won't talk about how long it takes for the train to actually hit him since it's right there. And here comes our super-powered superhero. Flips the car out of the way. Stands his ground. And completely derails a freight train. Instead of simply jumping out of the way. So let's talk about the momentum of a freight train. Freight cars apparently can have a mass of about 30 tons empty, adding in another 100 tons of load, which gives them about 130 tons per loaded car. So it says the typical freight train can have a weight or a mass of somewhere between 3,000 tons and 18,000 tons. So the equation we're going to use for solving for momentum is momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So let's just agree on a mass for this train from the clip. And I'm going to settle on 10,000 tons which when we convert it into kilograms is equivalent to 10 million kilograms. Okay, now the speed of the train coming in, it's hard to tell, but let's just say that it's somewhere in the neighborhood of about 50 kilometers an hour west. It is 13.88 meters per second, and I just chose a direction of west. So we've got a mass, we've got a velocity. We use the equation P equals M times V. So we have... 10 million kilograms times 13.88 meters per second west, which gives us a momentum of the train of 1.388 times 10 to the 8th kilogram meters per second in a westerly direction. Now, if Hancock was to stop this train, he has to apply a momentum of that number in the opposite direction. So, let's say that he is about 100 kilograms in mass we'd have to figure out what velocity would he need going in the opposite direction to cause the train to come to a complete stop so we had our 1.388 times 10 to the 8th kilogram meters per second west he has a mass of 100 kilograms is equal to his velocity we're going to divide both sides by 100 to cancel out so now we're going to get 1.388 times 10 to the 8th kilogram meters per second west divided by 100 kilograms, which means he'd be traveling at a speed of 1.388 times 10 to the 6 meters per second, or uh, 5 million kilometers per hour in a westerly direction. Now, if we notice in the movie, he is not actually moving at all. He is completely at rest. So the equation for momentum is equal to m times v. Now, if V is a zero, that essentially means that his momentum has to be a zero. Now, people like to say things like he's super strong, and that's why he can stop the train. But essentially, he has no momentum, I guess, unless he had the entire mass of the Earth or the mass of a mountain, which was completely stationary, that would be able to stop the train.